Question eight is asking, why were emojis not used in ASCII? Well, you could ask why were they not used in Shakespeare or ancient Stone Age or Egyptian handwriting because emojis are pretty, pretty recent, I suppose, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, and uh, ASCII is like 1960s stuff. So we're talking like Apollo era 1960s. It's really kind of the first attempt at, um, you know, combining language and, and computers, ones and zeros, uh, in a standard way that we all agree. There were a lot of competing different kind of systems, but for English, and I mean like American, UK, Ireland, kind of English speaking uh, parts of the world, this was the first first attempt. Okay, so there's only 128 possibilities here because there's seven bits. So imagine seven little switches, you know? Um, and that's another question you could be asked, uh, you know, how many possible um, pieces of information could be stored by seven bits? And the answer is 128. Um, and then, so eight bits is going to be twice that. And actually that's what they did. They extended this on in the 70s um, so that you could have kind of symbols and that kind of stuff. Um, and that's 256. And I suppose if you went uh, and kept going, uh, you'll eventually get now actually Unicode what we have today, which contains emojis. Um, it's a is a quite a maybe a different and quite an ingenious uh, solution. There's a good Tom Scott video explaining this, but uh, I I will say for your, for the exam purposes, all you got to say is it's a seven bit system. There were only 128 characters you could fit in it, so I don't think even all the emojis would even fit in ASCII. Um, there's a lot of emojis. Um, also, ASCII comes from the 60s, way before emojis. Um, and so it couldn't, you know, they weren't invented, so they couldn't possibly be in ASCII. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, just on, uh, on on that, just for some fun things to know. Um, you, you know, if you want to go and, and find, uh, go to like Emojipedia here. And um, you can actually put these things into funny and run them as python code check it out control c control v who knew look at that so you can your program can contain uh unicode um the other thing you can do is you can do if you want to type certain other symbols you can do like hold down alt on the keyboard so i think alt 248 is the degrees that's really good if you're doing like uh degrees celsius or something like that um, good to know. Not I mean, the traditional way is basically Google it and then copy paste it somewhere. Seems to be the way to go normally. But um, yeah, that's it for that's it for part A anyway. So when going from hexadecimal to binary, just remember that you know one in decimal is one in hexadecimal. The only difference is you know when you get to nine is nine, um, ten in normal decimal base ten as we say. 10 is a in hexadecimal okay so just remember like the a10 a equals 10 do you know that a10 thunderbolt do you know that like i'm trying to draw it it's that plane with the kind of like it's got two things like this they have them in a rack and they've got a big gun at the front that goes burr um whoa well the rest of my ink is gone but it's fine so a equals 10 the a10 thunderbolt b is 11 c is uh, you know you can keep going here 12 d 13 e 14 and f is 15. so that's the first thing we need and now we can say that we know that one is is one here so we've that's that's been done right the, the next digit here is f so we just go and find f there it is so f is 15. okay so we've got to turn that 15 into four digits of binary. Um, then there's four, four, and D, which is uh, 13. You can see it here, there's D is 13. Cool. Um, right, so let's turn F into 15. Um, and the way you do that is using powers of two. So let's just write down the powers of two. Two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, to the three 
Um, you could keep going two to the four, two to the five, but because um, this is hexadecimal meaning base 16, right? We kind of have a, a limit. Um, so we're not going to go past 16. So you'll see. So if you write this down, like that's one, yeah? That's two. This is four and eight. The next one would be 16, but if it was 16, we'd be gone off the scale here. We would have kind of fallen off the cliff. Ah. You know, when we get to 16, we go to the, the next the next um, digit. So, okay, let's do it with this. This is all we need. This here. Grant. Um, so, I'm just going to just pop into a, a different color, color here. Uh, let's do this nice green. Right, let's go for 15. So, to make 15 in a four-digit binary number, I take an 8. So, I write 1, because I took an 8. I take a 4. I write 1. I use my 4. If you add those together, 8 and 4 is 12. So why do you need to make 15? Well, actually, I'm going to take the 2 as well. In fact, I'm going to take them all. I'll take them all! Because all those numbers will combine to make 15. So if you're going to use the number, you write 1. If you're not going to use the number, you write 0. Um, in that case, I did use all the numbers. So, yeah, lovely. So that's the 1, 1, 1, 1. Cool. Right, let's change color again because we're going to the next one. So, uh, I'm going to do four this time. Uh, so, to make a four, I do not need an eight. So, I write a zero under that. Do I need a four? You know, that's a great way to make a four, is use a four. As someone once said very wisely, I don't need a zero, I don't need a zero. Um, you know, if you want to make a million dollars, first start with ten million dollars. That's the first step. It's always easy to make money when you've got lots of money. Um, uh, okay, and then I write the answer there. Zero, one, zero, zero. And look, it's four again. So I don't need to even use my brain. Finally, I'm going to do 13. Okay, so to make 13, first I need to choose a pretty color. Well, I mean... This is kind of a color. Um, so, uh, will I use an 8? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I can use an 8, so I'll write a 1. Um, that gets me to 8. Add 4 gets me to 12. I only need one more. Yeah, so I'll just take this 1 here uh, and write a 0 because I didn't use my 2. That's it. And that will get me um, that will get me 13. So that's 13. You know, and this was 4. And this was 15. I should have written wrote it in there okay um there's my answer one one zero one so in, in summary to do this write out this to remind yourself yeah um write them in simple sesame street decimal and then convert each of these decimal numbers to a four digit um, binary by just writing out the powers of two and saying did you use them put a one did you not use the number put a zero and that is it that's the answer